Hi guys, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Dependent Estate Agents and I welcome you to my property tour today. It's Saturday, I've just managed to find a little shade there because the sun is out there beaming at this property that I'm going to take on the market today, which is a lovely three bed. It's a great example of a Barrett home called the Ennardale. Look at those oversized windows as well. It's a truly immaculate property that's going to be coming on our books today. You go into a lovely spacious hallway, you've got your downstairs loos, your cloakrooms I should say. You've got a lovely kitchen, patio doors open into the side garden. There's dual aspect living room. Um, you've got lovely flooring, you go upstairs, and then you've got your, your three bedrooms, your en suites, your bathrooms. Of course it's double glazed, of course it's, there's gas heating. Um, what else can you say? I think this suits first time buyers. I think it suits people trading down. But it's a truly immaculate property. And these properties, are, uh, these guys, they're, they're moving for lifestyle reasons. They've been there about five years and they're looking to, to, to look for another property. So this is the Ennardale design um, built by Barrett Homes about five years ago. And you know, with all my property tours, I'm just gonna spin the camera around. We're gonna talk about the amenities of Melchon. It's really important. And then we're gonna go into that stunning brick property there and take a good look around this three bedroom Barrett built home by their Ennardale design. And that's better. You can just see that lovely glowing brick as the sun just rises to the, just above the other houses in behind me there. Cute little cul-de-sac here, Gladstone Road. That then links you onto the Sandridge Road. And then as you go further down there, just in terms of just a bit of geography, you could walk into town. I'm quite a fit lad. You could do that in say 10 to 15 minutes. Sandridge Road, of course, that links you up to where the school is. If you want to go to the Oak School or the Forest and Sandridge School, you could go further up also into into Bromham, that links you to Carn, Chippenham and Devizes. Very, very well located. You could cut down to Church Road down there or Church Lane, or you can go across this road down here and cut across New Road. And I think the national, beautiful National Trust village of Laycock, I think that's probably about three or four miles away. To get to the M4, you could do it in 15 to 20 minutes. Bath is about 13 miles away. And Melchum have got some great towns around us like Chippenham, Caution, Bradford and Avon, Devizes. Um, absolutely fantastic. There's a train station in Melchum that goes to, to Chippenham and then you can link to the southwest or Paddington. Um, and you, then you've also got your schools as well. There's Forest of Sandridge, there's the Lyric School, there's the Oak School. And then you've got the new campus in Melchum. It's a very thriving market town of ours, Melchum. Um, and it's easily located as well. But today we're gonna to go into this property here in Gladstone Road. We're gonna take a look at that. I just wanna show off those windows again because you don't often get those in a more modern development. Like I said, this is about five years ago when this one was built, but it's a very attractive uh, property, this. We're gonna go through that door, take a decent look around this property. Just before we do have a look at this one at Gladstone, I'm just gonna bring the camera around here. You should see the gardens actually from here. It's to this side. There's a bounded wall there. And then in here, you've got your parking. So it doesn't come with a garage, this one. It comes with parking for one, two. You could put another car there if you've got a small enough car. I think you put your, also a car in front of your property, but you've got two spaces to park in front. And then you can also have the side access from your gate there take into your garden. There's a patio door that then links into this kitchen. There's also a door there that goes through into this property. Let's take a look around, around this property in Gladstone Road. And when I say truly immaculate as well, guys, it really is. I've been here since half past eight, you know, this Saturday morning, and it's absolutely gorgeous inside. So don't take my word for it. Let's pop the camera in, up the steps, and let me welcome you into their property. Already you can see the stairs going to the first floor landing. You can see this lovely continuation of the flooring. You've got a lovely dual aspect living room there. There's some built-in cupboards there to the right. Concealed radiator. There's a cupboard in there. I'm not gonna open up those cupboards. We all know what cupboards are like. They'll be jam-packed with bits and bobs as well. And, I, and as with all my tours, as you know, I turn the camera around and there's that entrance door that we came through just now. Absolutely brilliant property. If you just have a look at the workmanship, at the painting as it's cut in. You can see there's some nice soft tones with this property and it goes really well with this design as well. Pop the camera around again, open up, because you know what's gonna be in here, guys. Turn the light on if you like. There's your flooring, wash and basin radiator. And then again, low level WC. 
extract the fan, etc. Come back out the cloak room, turn the door on myself, and then we're back out into this hallway. And like I said, there's plenty of storage here already. You've got storage there to the left, storage to the right, radiator there that's concealed. Turn the camera left, and let's go straight into the kitchen. I love this kitchen. Look how the lights just flooded in from that front. So the sun is there at the moment and the sun works its way around. If I just walk back on myself again, you've got this lovely area there for, for dining, uh, dining table, flooring that continues, patio doors, and then that opens up into that side garden. That's that gate where it just links then to the parking. It's not the biggest gardens, they don't need to be, but this property it does suit those first time buyers. A really cute couple that want to buy. You know, somebody that's trading up for the first time as first time buyers, you could trade down, you could be on your own, you could be a couple. But this is what they're geared for, these properties. Then you can see you're gonna have wall and base units. You're gonna have a built-in fridge freezer there, oven. Absolutely brilliant. You've got a boiler to the right there. Let's open it up for you. And there's your boiler. Of course, four ring cooker, extractor hood. There's your oven incorporated. Don't forget, as I said, that's built in with fridge freezer. And just to let you know, there's your dishwasher. Open it up. Dishwasher, one and a half sink bowl unit. But a really, really good room, this guy's. And it's just so well lit when you get in here. I mean, this is the uh, first time I've been in here today. I've been here for probably now a couple of hours. And I just, I could just feel the warmth of this property. It's absolutely lo uh, lovely, in fact. Come back through again, this is your kitchen. Let's take a view to the left over here, back into this light and airy living room, uh, hallway I should say. Let's just give you another angle of this hallway as those stairs go up. And of course to the left here, then you're gonna be welcomed by this dual aspect living room. Decent room this, you've got plenty of areas there for sofa, for sofa. You could put a TV there, you could put your TV up there like these guys have done. You could put television on a wall. It really depends on how you want to to, to see your room develop. But it's a really, really cozy living room, this one. The fact that you've got your two windows makes it dual aspect. Bring in natural light. And it's very well centrally located. Like I said, you've got your amenities, you've got your garage, you've got your shops, you've got a co-op, and then you've got your schools around here. And the road links are there in case you need to go other towns or whatever. Absolutely perfect. One more angle of this room. Just look at all the, I just wanted to show you the ceilings and how well it's presented. I think that's really, really important. Really, really important that. Come back on yourself. And there we have the living room. So let's just recap as we come in here. Living room, dual aspects, oversized windows. And they are oversized, like a picture window really. Radiator that runs along, but brings in light. I love these doors. You can just see the presentation's really good. Flooring's decent. Nice front door, and then the decor it just continues. Through here you've got storage, storage, cloakroom, and then you're into this welcoming kitchen, dining room. So look guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. Let's pop upstairs and have a look at those three bedrooms, bathrooms, and en suites. And as promised guys, we're just gonna climb these stairs. Now these guys are lovely people, like I said, they've been here five years. So it's just purely lifestyle reason why they're moving. But you can see the landing just splits off. You've got a bedroom in there, smaller bedroom in there. It then goes to the left, bathroom and bedroom. While we're here, let's go into the smallest of the three. This is the little one's room. If you haven't got children, you can make this into an office. If you're hybrid working from home, absolutely perfect. But they've got some nice colors in there, a little bit of paneling there. Bed goes in there, bit of flooring there and then that window radiator. So of course it's big enough. You could put a single bed in here, but as the little one's at a certain age, the bed, you know, the cot is big enough for the moment. If you don't need it and you can use it for, a, for an office, that's what I think most people are doing with the three beds nowadays. And just remember this is a detached property as well. So there is a bit of space with it, but I love the landing as it splits off because it gives you a bit of space. Bring the camera back in here. And then you've got a double bedroom. You've got dual aspect windows to the side elevation, window to the front elevation, radiators. I love the clean lines, I love the paint. Everything's been cut in. There's a little area there where you can just use the recess for a little desk. I think it's really cute. 
They're a lovely family. You can see they enjoy living here. Double bed, freestanding on the, that side. Just a decent, decent bedroom. And very well decorated too. Built-in wardrobe that will go over the stairwell. There's a little view to the front so you are set back from the road. There will be a bit of road noise because that's what a, a road will do. When you're inside a property, you don't hear it so much. Come back out on yourself. That's one of the bedrooms. Brilliant. Coming back through the landing. Let's go into the bathroom first. Again, you've got some flooring that's been put down by these guys. I love this bathroom. You've got panel bathroom, little WC, wash and basin. I love the tiling that goes into it. Big mirror, some ceiling spotlights, an extractor fan. The obscure double glazed window, that's to the side elevation. And then you've got your radiator there as well. But it's a cute bathroom. It's really well done out. Obviously, they've got the shower there. You could put one in there if you wanted to. But because they've got the ensuite, there's probably no need but a decent bathroom nonetheless. It's so well presented this. So it's immaculately presented throughout the property. So I'm really taken with this one. It's a nice modern bathroom. And of course, last but not least, let's go into the main bedroom. Immediately when you go in, you can see this space here because you've got your ensuite's gonna be in there. So that area is gonna be your, your ensuite. But just here, what I like about it are the built-in wardrobes. Really cute mirror fronted wardrobes. They'll go back to a certain depth. Bring the camera around and then you've got this area here. So this area will go into the bathroom. It opens up into the bedroom. You've got freestanding units on either side so you know it fits a double bed. And again, double glazed window to the side elevation. That nice window to the front elevation. Bring this camera around. And all in all, it's a really decent bedroom this. Open this door, because you know what's going to be in here guys. The ensuite. Low level WC wash hand basin, obscure double glazed window, and then that shower cubicle there on the right. Shower screen opens up, you've got some tiling there, and then there's your shower unit. And up there somewhere, I'll find the extractor fan. There we are. I like just to point these things out because people do ask, and that's the reason for these property tours. It's there to demonstrate the possibilities of a home, and it's our job, and you know, I love connecting people to property. Um, this is a really, really well presented. In fact, it's a truly immaculate property. I can't fault this property at all. It's, it's lovely. So those are the three rooms upstairs. I'll do a re quick recap. This is the main bedroom. Main bedroom. And then the ensuite. We come back through. We've got those lovely mirrored fronted wardrobes. Back out into this modern fitted bathroom. So the quality there, the tiling, flooring. Back through again. smaller bedroom bring the camera back out and then you've got your second double bedroom very very smart property let's go outside and have a look at that side garden and parking as promised I've just come back down from upstairs we're back into this light and airy uh, living room a uh, hallway I should say get my words out on a Saturday morning and then we're opening up into this kitchen because I wanted to take you through to the side garden because this is obviously the side door open it up and here is your garden. It's bounded by brick walling. You've got a garage there, so nothing's overlooking you there. And then out there, you saw the parking earlier for one, for two. We'll say two cars for now. You could put another car to the front of the property or even two cars. It's laid to lawn. There's a little patio there. Again, bounded for some privacy. There's your gate. I'm going to come across here because there's a seating area. In the summer, the sun comes over here. It's a kind of a north facing garden, but it does get the sun apparently in the evenings over here as well. So that's where the seating area is there. Bring this camera around. And there's your garden. I'm trying to think of good words now, just to summarize. It's early on a Saturday morning. I'm quite taken by this place. I like the frontage, I like how attractive this property is in Gladstone Place. Um, and when you look around, I mean, you can get three bed semis at 300 grand. I actually think this is very keenly priced. I don't think it's gonna be on the market long. It's a three bedroom detached. It's got your parking already. When you come in, I think we've all recognized the, the condition and how, how well presented this is. It's truly immaculate. So 
for me, it's ideal for a first time purchase. It's ideal for people trading down and they still want that, you know, to be in Melksham is really important for schooling. Uh, maybe people are up on their own way and they just need, you know, a slightly larger property. Um, it suits all kinds of people. This one at Gladstone, I, I can't find. I think it's a great three bedroom detached property. So any questions, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents on 01225 707 342. Look, I hope you're enjoying the weather. It's great weather that we're getting now. Uh, feel free to give me a nudge if you, if you have any questions on this one at Gladstone on 707 342. I hope you're all well and have a cracking weekend.